the way down over his ears. Some hair is going day, to show. December 8th, he was sentenced in the year 1976. 46 years ago, Virgin Presnell was sentenced to death for the murder. Hello and welcome to the Death Row and Executions channel. I'm Paco Rivera. Tracy Lane Beatty was born in January of 1961. He dropped out of high school after the 10th grade. As a young man during the 1980s, he was tried and convicted for injury to a child when he used a live electrical cord to shock his 18-month-old baby niece. Burned her with a cigarette, yanked hair out of her head, and struck her in the face. He served a four-year term in prison for that. In 1988, Beatty was sentenced to 15 years in prison for auto theft, and two years later, in 1990, he was sentenced to an additional three years for assaulting a corrections officer while he was still incarcerated. By the early 2000s, however, he was paroled, but because he assaulted his mother, Carolyn Clary Click, during that time, his parole was revoked and he was sent back to prison. Soon after being paroled again in October of 2003, Beatty moved in with his mother Carolyn who took him back in in the town of White House in Texas. White House is a suburb of Tyler, Texas. Today it has a population of about 8,000 people. They've grown a bit since 1975 when the population was just a little over 1,000. If you are an NFL football fan, White House, Texas is also the hometown of Patrick Mahomes, football quarterback great who led the Kansas City Chiefs to a Super Bowl win in 2020 and was named that game's most valuable player. A neighbor of Carolyn Clary Click, a woman named Betty McCarty, testified in court that although Tracy Beatty had assaulted his mother several times in the past, Carolyn was happy to have her son back home. It's amazing how a mother's undying love of her children will allow her to overlook anything wrong her child had done to her. Carolyn had Tracy when she was 19 years old with a man that she never married. However, by November 25th of 2003, two days before Thanksgiving, Carolyn had gone over to see her neighbor Betty about 4 o'clock that afternoon. She was stressed out and crying and told Betty that she had told her son to leave the house, to get out and don't come back. That day was the last time Carolyn Clary Click had been seen alive by anyone other than her son who killed her. A cousin of Tracy Beatty named Stacy Killo testified that Beatty arrived at her house about 5.30 that afternoon and that Beatty was driving Carolyn Clary's car. That made her suspicious because she was aware that Carolyn would never allow anyone to drive her car, not even her children. The cousin, Stacy, said that when she asked Tracy where Carolyn was, her cousin told her that she had gone out of town and won't be returning for a few weeks. Stacy said that Tracy was at her home for about 10 or 15 minutes that day and then left. The investigation showed that over the following weeks, Tracy Lane Beatty was not only driving around in Carolyn Clary's car, he had used her credit cards and drained her bank accounts, using the money mostly uh, for drugs and booze. At some point, Carolyn was reported missing. It's not clear from reports who exactly filed the missing persons report, but Tracy Beatty was questioned. After giving detectives about five different stories about what happened to his mother, including one where he told the detective that a friend of his named Junior killed his mother and that he then killed Junior, he said he buried his mother in the backyard and threw Junior's body into a lake. It was at that point that he then led authorities to his mother's body, buried in the backyard of her home. In yet another story, he'd said, that his mother had pulled a gun on him and he killed her in self-defense. In Tracy Beatty's final confession, he'd said that he and his mother got into a physical altercation. His mother, quote, need me in the nuts and that's when I lost it, unquote. Beatty says that's when 
he strangled her. He then placed his mother's body in a bathtub and left her there for two days before burying her in the backyard. A Smith County Sheriff's Major had said at the time how there was an indication that a part of the motive for killing his mother had also been for his being sent back to prison because of her. Tracy Beatty has two daughters, Tiffany and Tammy Beatty, both married and with children of their own now. Tracy Lane Beatty says he is ready to be executed. Do you want to stay of execution or do you, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm sick of just sick of being locked up like an animal. I mean, you sit there in a little thing like eight foot by 10 foot cell, you know, 23 hours a day. Tracy Beatty is scheduled to be put to death on November the 9th. His life will be taken from him for killing the woman that gave life to him. Carolyn Ruth Clary Click was 62 years old when she was killed by Tracy Beatty, who would be 62 years old himself three months from now in January, the same age as his mother when she was killed. If you would like to see more of these death row stories, please subscribe so that you are alerted when the next one comes out. I'm Paco Rivera. Bye for now.